What's going on guys? Cargo Crystal here and we're back with episode 13 ish of Pokemon Platinum and our randomized Nuzlocke. So um this isn't actually a live um commentary because my mic was off when I tried to record this. I'm starting to do a new um a way of recording where I'm just doing a big bulk amount of recording at once and then I'm gonna edit that and cut them into the three or four episodes each thing so these are gonna turn out to be um probably i think four episodes so what happened was for an hour of recording i didn't get any audio so you can see i'm doing my recap my uh team recap right here so if you want to know the team just keep an eye on that while i just keep talking so that's what i'm doing i'm just doing the new um schedule but i'm really sad again cause my mic wasn't recording again so this is the second time which for the next three or four episodes you're just gonna see videos of me talking in the background with um some audio of the game which is bad so this what is gonna happen in this episode this episode we got a new teammate we got two new teammates in the last one because we had some recording issues i couldn't upload the original episode 13 so i just recorded 13 from where we were and so that's where we have mr our Miss Maggie, as you can see on the layout. Uh, April, the Amber Palm, and one that we got while I was just doing a slight grind to get everyone up to level. There's Mister right there. Uh, he is pretty strong. He's he, I gave him the EXP share. I'm probably gonna I take him off, take it off him in this episode, I think. Um, but uh, April is pretty strong. Is actually pretty pretty strong. She does come through with a few good plays this game. So this episode, I do believe, is gonna go up to the gym. Yes, there's Arsenal. We I didn't plan on getting him. I got him at um talking to Bebe or BB. I don't know what to call her. She um gives you an EV normally in the game, but it was randomized, so I got an, I got Arsenal the trap inch, which is gonna evolve into a flygon eventually, which is the hope I get him to flygon. So that's another dragon type to replace our missing member of Teeth. So, um I actually wasn't sure the game lags every so often when I leave uh my inventory and that's really awkward. So there's me taking off uh, Mr.'s uh, ESP share right now. So I'm not going to be signing off until the very end of the session. So I'll just see it. They'll probably just see it end. And then they will have to wait another day before another episode comes out. And then by the time the fourth episode comes out, I'm going to have the ending statement. Um, so I was looking at the pure instance there. Uh, pretty much what happens is in this episode is I'm just going to go through, talk to um, my mom, talk to... Kiara. Oh my god. And, um, Fantasia, I think her name is. So I don't, if I remember correctly here, I'm just kind of talking. Uh, I saw Suicide Squad, just to fill out the space. I can't remember what I talked about, so I can't really reenact what happened in the episode because it happened yesterday. I got a new chair, by the way, so I'm not sitting in some clinky chair. There we go. I'm gonna see if I can try to do. Oh, my hero. <laughs> Oh, hi, Krygo. That was bad voice. Wait, no, really? Johanna's your mom? So you might be a contest star? Oh, I don't know about that. I've never spoken to Krygo about contests. I'm surprised you don't know each other, though. Oh, yes, that's right. I need to thank you for earlier. Please take this accessory. It's glittery and pretty, and I like sparkly things. Put the accessory in your Pokemon for a contest. It will lend a nice touch of sophistication and glamour. I'm a contest judge, so come join us for a different kind of fun. If you're unsure of yourself, we also offer practice sessions if you're bad. Okay, Johanna, I'll see you. Bye. Oh, uh, random person addressed by. Were you surprised to see me, Krygo? I got s I got bored, so I came out to Hartham for a little vacation. I'm just so surprised to see you here, my dear. But are you serious about entering contest? Not just that way. When your Pokemon is all dressed up, you can't be dressed at your usual way. Put this on for a little glamour. Oh god. I, I, I don't get a contest. I'm sure it'll take a long time. After all, I chose it. Go enjoy the contest, honey. Now since you ruined my vacation, contest will give you a different look at your any charms of Pokemon. It should be an eye-open experience. Now since you ruined my vacation, I'm gonna go home now. Bye, child that ruined my life. I never was meant to have a child. So I uh, see Fantasia, so I'm like, why not talk to her? 
Um, I don't remember what I said. Yes, I beg your pardon. Oh, we oui. contest you are here for. I hope you very much enjoy them. I think she's French. Incidentally, Fantina, the gym leader of Hearthrome. She is, how do you say, très fantastique. Fantina being myself, of course. Hmm, let me see. You also seem to be très strong. Enfant, it shall be. I will wait for you at the gym. So, I was dumb because I read that. I was like, I don't know what to do. Okay. Because I played, remember, I only played Diamond and Pearl. So I saw this. I looked at the gym. This is where I looked. I'm looking at the badge list. So I'm like, okay, yeah. So Fantasia is like the four, fifth gym. So obviously you don't get it yet. You obviously don't have to battle it till later. So I decided, okay, we'll go and move on to get our encounter. We're going to keep going. So we decided to just take a run through the town. I had to take a break there because I was going to eat something. Uh, my uh, parents called me now. I had to eat something. So I came back up and about 20 minutes later to start recording. If it does, hello. I th yeah, I'm talking right now. Sorry. Um, so yeah, I start moving. We're going to walk in. I don't think... I, I keep checking my Pokemon just to look at their stats, HP, because I thought I was going to get an encounter. So I move on down. Um, just keep moving down. I need to keep an eye on the time marking as well, just so I can have an idea of where I'm ending. So I walk in, I see these two people there, right? And I'm like, oh, this guy gives me an egg. I, I can turn on the egg hash code and just hatch the egg. So he's just talking about, oh, I have a friend, a professor who... Um, hatches eggs and he's studying it. I wonder how my pal Alm is, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, okay, I don't get an egg from him, but why are these two people in front of the door? So I decided to talk to them. They don't move, so um, that makes a problem for me. So I decided, okay, I have no clue what to do, and I think I run back to the contest halls to talk to people, see where to go, and I thought, okay, maybe I'll try the gym. Yeah, I talked to this guy, and the guy's like, oh, I'll show you where to go for the contest, because I am a tour I was a tourist once. So I'm gonna do that really quick. So yeah, Suicide Squad. I saw that. That was pretty cool. It was a really go good movie. Um, reviewers are just saying it was bad, but I saw it and I thought, mm, no, it's got some good moments. Sorry, my bad, guys. Um, just a bit tired. I uh, woke up about two hours ago. Um, so what happened is I'm decided to talk to everyone just to see if I can get something because again we're randomized so I can get some pretty interesting stuff from it so I, again I go into the um, contest hall start talking to people I'm not gonna do any contest I'm like I know here currently I was just thinking oh do I have to do a contest that's not a good thing I don't really want to do contests on camera or on recording if I have to because if, if I had to I would have just like done it in grinding beforehand like done as part of the grinding but I decided to not. Uh, I would have been really upset because I would have had to cut and everything. Even though I'm doing a bunch of chopping later. Oh uh, my god. I just decide, okay, you know what? I'm going to try out this gym. I'm going to see what I have to do. So I talk to this This guy talks to me. He's like, hey, yo. This is how it's going champ, to be. How's it going? The gym is some kind of wicked. What's wicked about it? I'll tell you. First, it's pitch black. Oh, no worries though. I have a flashlight right here for you. Also, there's a usual chip. There are usual gym leaders. They have fast rates too. If you cast a light on one, or they catch you in a light, the battle's on. Okay, now this is really important. It's about the tiles on the floor. First, run the blue tile in the room and memorize the mark on it. Next, head to the red door with the same mark. Advance to the correct red doors and reach the gym leader. If you choose a wrong red door, you get sent back here, though. That's how the space is good. Is go get him, champ to be. So I was really unsure, so I decided, okay, you know what, I'll try it. But I don't know the levels, so that was my really worry. So I, I think I just stood there for a second, not sure what to do, talking. Um, pretty cool gym, though. I like the gym layout. Um, I don't remember what they do here. What do I do? Oh, the person turns to me because they're in my flashlight. So this is the first, the moment of truth. I look at the gym. Um, I'm, and it's a level 23, so I'm not scared. Arsenal's a ground type, so I use Bite. Just see how much damage it does. Arsenal's pretty powerful. I gotta give it that. Um, he's not one of our strongest team members, obviously. We have Malware and Palette and April. And Mr. actually, when, when you think about it, we have a lot of pretty strong Pokemon on our team. <laughs> but, uh, 
the great thing is we don't have to worry too much about like type disadvantages because uh, uh, gyms because it's randomized so that's good um so we're gonna move on up the girl's in the way that's the problem there she goes she moved so we just keep walking up we go through the door and we're in the next room which is bigger i think considerably bigger i think there's only two rooms in here so now i'm trying to not get caught by this girl i for some reason i thought you had to run over the tiles oh there's a corridor there anyways i'm noticing all these things now so here's fantina here is where we're gonna battle her Finally, you have arrived. Since I came to this country, I was a- Oh my god, I use myself to win, I will excel. I will excel. That is why I curse this way. Say- Oh my god, I click and these things so fast, I can't keep up. So yeah, I'm talking to her, she's saying all these things. You want to pause the recording and watch the video there. Watch and read through the text. Um, so the video is going to try to be around 13 to 15 minutes. So here's the gym battle. I was scared for this, because again, like usual, Trainers are usually a little bit strong, weaker than the gym, and there's a high Brava on the team on the field, which scares me because Trap Inch by Brava. I didn't know how much damage this range. This range actually did a good amount. I used Bite and Bite it took off a chunk, so I decided. I think I decided to go. Yeah, I went for one more. This was not like the first gym. So what? First, second, and third gym. I've been a little bit more prepared, so I haven't like been under leveled. I don't remember who I switched. I think I switched out to Pallet. Yeah. Because I was scared for Vibrava, Vibrava hoping it didn't have Dragon Breath or something. Because that would have been really bad. I just thought, yard. Huh. Okay. So, yeah. Um, I decided we'll try sand, um, roll out. But I think. Because I remember uh, Vibrava is not bug. It's dragon on ground. Because for some reason I always thought that Vibrava was part bug it looks like a bug you know but it's not so um <clears throat> i said just go for stomp over top just to see how that goes and it takes it out so we've solved one problem normally fantina has like a mismagus but since it's um the gym of randomized well everything's randomized i don't have to worry so she's sending a polywag so i thought okay april we'll give you a try you level 19 this is probably going to be a bad idea, but we're going to try it. See how much damage it is. It's like five levels higher. So we decided... I gave her Thunder Punch. So I decided to give it a try. But I said didn't do that much, being that I'm a stage 2 Mon. And I almost one-shot that thing. Which is great. I'm just hoping I don't get a, she doesn't get a crit and kill. She didn't. So... April goes in and punches that thing out. Which is amazing. So there's a Shell Gun now. Shell Gun... Scare me. Anything that's dragon type at this early point in the game scares me because of the fact that it can go dragon rage, which would hurt like hell. And I didn't want to have to deal with that. Mm. So I decided to switch into mal malware just so I can deal with this shell gun pretty quickly. I use side beam, I think, to get the damage on because malware is pretty strong on its own. He takes off almost half his health in one go. And he uses Cybeam again. And that Shellgon is has a Citrus Berry, so that like doesn't mean that means you don't have to deal with the, like a hyper potion or super potion or whatever. Um so I'm just speeding through this quickly just to finish this thing off. And um yeah, that was that was pretty interesting. Oh, uh, one second. Sorry guys, hold on, I'm just figuring this out. So, yeah. What's happening? Um, Bradley, we finished her. She's done. We're gone. Sorry, I had to talk to my mom. She, uh, I got the new chair, so I left some information downstairs that I was going to grab. I'll grab it after the episode, this video. But, um, so she's like, yeah, you're very strong. Your Pokemon are so strong. Your powers are admirable. I shall all you with this gym badge. And, ta-da, we got the Relic Badge. Which is... Se Fantastic. <sighs> but, yeah. So we are um, just getting our TM and everything. So this is where I'm a bit confused. So we decide to check the badge box after we're done here. I think. Let's see. 